Hello oh, everyone, researching here today. I have no new Yokai uh, Watch medals, so no new codes. Uh, but I figure with uh, Yokai Watch 2 coming out uh, in a few months, um, that I talk about one of the classic Yokai, and uh, I'll talk about what is uh, probably the most well known uh, Yokai. Uh, Karakasa. Oh. Karakasa Obaki. Sorry, my uh, thing was covering name. Uh, <laughs> um, they will be known as Parasol in the U.S. Their type of uh, Suka Gomini, I think, is the uh, correct uh, typing there. Uh, hold on, I have it actually saved on my clipboard, so I can actually look it up. Let's see. They're a type of Suku Mogami. Uh, that is a yokai that's created from a discarded object. In uh, the Karakasu Obaki's case, uh, that is an umbrella. There are actually uh, two depictions of it. Uh, the more common one is uh, the one that's used for parasol with uh, one eye and uh, one leg. There is also a two-eyed, two-leg version, I believe. Um, Parasol is not the only yokai that's based off of a Suku... It's based off of a Suku Magami. Uh, there is also uh, Irapo, who is uh, also based off of that. That idea. Of course, uh, we all met Irapo in the first game. And uh, we're going to see Morocco more later on. Uh, I uh, couldn't find any pictures of it, but uh, games like Shin Megami Tensei and Dragon Quest also have a uh, Sukum Megami. Okay, I'm finally getting the name down, Sukum Megami. Uh, The uh, obvious one that I can think of in uh, Shin Megami that I can't remember the name of is one that's uh, made from a uh, made from a uh, writing scroll. Which uh, there will also be a yokai of that called uh, So Sorry in uh, Yokai Watch 2. And uh, Dragon Quest Monsters, of course, also uses a lot of Sukumagami. Then, of course, uh, this one I did find a picture of, uh, Pokemon uses them as well, uh, because they're, they're the most well-known types of yokai, ones that are discard objects that gain souls. Uh, so, the one that came to mind immediately for me for Pokemon was Banette. Banette is, of course, a discarded doll that takes on a life of its own. And, uh, you can probably tell by I'm using Bulbapedia and, uh, Yokai Wiki for, uh, For these pictures, and uh, and yeah, so uh, these ones are usually friendly. Uh, obviously, uh, sometimes they are not. Uh, the net is obviously a malevolent creature, or at least its evolution is. Uh, but usually. Uh, Suku Magami uh, are uh, just uh, playful pranksters. They don't really try to do any harm. Not like uh, some of the more uh, monstrous looking uh, yokai. And in fact, I'm going to look up one of those more monstrous ones. Uh, see uh, who she's based off because I should know, but I can't think of it. Uh, Lady Longneck. Okay, can you at least take me to Yokai Watch? Instead of taking me to some, what are obviously some racist searches? Here we go, a lady long neck, and uh, let's see if I can't see what she's based off of. 
I like Carrie Soul, she's a classic yokai. Uh, the Rook, she's based off of Ruku Rukubi. Uh, they're like, like, real humans, but they have extendable necks. Uh, sometimes lose control over. Some live among humans, enjoy that life. Others, uh, actually attack people, though it's not mentioned in, uh, the trivia here. Uh, but Lady Long Neck is another one of the uh, classic yokai that we'll be seeing in Yokai Watch 2. And, uh, I really, uh, didn't think, uh, I was gonna say as much as what I was, so, uh, yeah. So we have, uh, some uh, darker versions of the classic yokai, and some that are just playful. Uh, something I did see noticed on Lady Long next page is that uh, the Ruko Kubo, I believe is what it was called, uh, do sometimes uh, just drink to uh, drown out their mischievous intentions so that they can uh, stay around humans without causing problems. Anyways, uh, this was pretty much all I had for today, so I'm just going to use a rest for a vlog, like I usually do. Um, so, I've got both new Yokai watches pre-ordered. My sister will pick which one she wants. Uh, my guess is she's going to go for Bony Spirits. Um, we also have uh, Pokemon Sunday Moon pre-ordered, which comes a month later, so there's that too. Uh, speaking of which, I'm actually mentioned in Game Explain's uh, latest analysis video, and do not know how happy that makes me. Game Explain is one of my favorite uh, YouTube channels to watch for uh, video game information, and uh, they actually uh, and I had sent uh, my theory on the legendaries to uh, Derek Bittner over Twitter, and he uh, put it into the analysis video, and it, it's I'm just so happy about that. Uh, anyways, with the Pokemon Sun and Moon, my sister is getting Moon, I'm getting Sun. Uh, that one's already settled. <laughs> I mentioned Shimagami Tensei earlier as well. I have also pre-ordered uh, Mirage Sessions Sharp FE, uh, which comes out next month already. Um, so, it took a long time for it to actually get out, but wow, when they got it out, they got it out. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, that's all I have for uh, today. I'm going to be recording some videos for tomorrow and hopefully Sunday, later on today. And, uh, you can probably tell I'm really sweaty. That's because it is hot in here. Uh, so I'm going to make sure I had the fan on uh, so I don't have too much crashing. Um, I would be doing a Yandere Simulator video for tomorrow, but uh, Yandere has got a bit of a backlog at the moment. Uh, said the next uh, update should come out sometime between uh, now and the end of the month, so as soon as it's out, I'll uh, make sure to do a recording of it. It looks like there's some uh, fun stuff coming. And uh, one of the videos I hope to get done for the weekend is uh, Half-Life 2, as I am uh, actually surprisingly far through it. I didn't realize how uh, many chapters I had gone through. And I do know how to solve that puzzle now, thankfully. So I might just start the video at that puzzle being completed. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed any enjoyed this video at all, uh, please give it a like. Uh, subscribe if you like any of my videos. And uh, as always, I will see you guys next time. And have a great time wherever you may be. Bye, guys!